starts right now with breaking news. And within the last 90 minutes, rescuers in Clearwater pulling a school bus driver there out of a mangled bus that slammed into a pole this afternoon. Yeah, just take a look at the picture right there. You see that bus, and you can tell certainly just how strong that impact was. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos live at Drew Street and Fort Harrison Avenue. Maricela, were there any students on the bus at the time of this crash? There was one student on that school bus. His parents came to pick him up here. We're told that student is okay. Behind me, you can still see the car here that crashed into that bus, and then that bus ultimately crashed into a light post, which they have removed. So crews have been out here for several hours working here at Fort Harrison and Drew. Um, this happened about 2.30 this afternoon in Clearwater. We have some video of what this looked like earlier today as well. I'm told that both the bus driver and the driver of that car were taken to Bayfront with non life threatening injuries. And this was pretty chaotic. As you mentioned, there was one student that was on this bus. This bus was coming from Palm Harbor University High School, and it took a very long time to get that bus driver out of that bus because the front of that bus is a mangled mess. A mess. They had to, firefighters had to go to the back of the bus and cut out bus seats in order to pull that bus driver out. He is expected again to be okay. And I did speak with a witness who was driving two cars down behind that bus, and he says this is not the bus driver's fault. He ran the red light. <laughs> so the bus had, bus had a green light, and uh, that was it. If you live near this area, avoid this intersection. You can see they're still out here busy working. And in the meantime, they have put stop signs. So I believe they're going to make this a four-way stop in the meantime until they can permanently fix this. But again, both drivers, the driver of that school bus as well as the driver of the car, have been taken to Bayfront Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.